sharp and dangerous. I can't reach that from here. I guess I'll be needing a sword. This one will do. I'm so confused. Hey! What are you doing just standing around? The governor's been kidnapped! What? By whom? LeChuck's got her on that ship that just sailed off. He caught her alone when she came down here to rescue you. I'm afraid we've seen the last of her. So where were you this whole time? Sleeping? Hey, I'm a lookout, not a bodyguard. Where did they go? LeChuck's taken the governor back to his hideout on Monkey Island. I'm afraid that no pirate on this island is brave enough to follow him there. But hey, good luck. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Uh, they left this note. You can have it, but I don't think he'll like what it says. Oh, governor. Why did you have to risk your life for me? Maybe you cared for me more than I thought. Just as I now realize how much I care for you. It's my fault the governor's in this mess, and I swear I'll get her out of it, even if I have to sail to Monkey Island myself to get her. Attention Pirates of Melee. Your governor is alive and well and by my side as she was always meant to be. If you try to find us, you will only meet with horrifying disaster. Yours truly, Captain LeChuck. What's wrong, old sot? The governor is gone. LeChuck and his spectral crew came and got her. They put her in the ghost ship and spirited her away. She was so good to me. Always conveniently losing those health board reports. For a small consideration, of course. What'll become of my business? Oh, woe is me. What can I do to save her? You must get a ship and go after her. The ghost pirate's lair is on Monkey Island. Everybody knows that. Don't ask me how. All you need to do is find a way there. Why should I do that? Why, for love, my boy. Don't deny it. It's written all over your face. Love. Where can I get a ship? Why, it's Smiling Stan's used shipyard. Same as everybody else. Tell them I sent you. We're old friends. Will you join me? Uh, alas, I cannot go to sea. An old war injury. I'm sure you understand. Get me a drink. Get your own drink. Right. I'm off. Good luck. Be sure to wear your mittens, and your galoshes, and don't forget to write. Bye now.
I'm Stan of Stan's previously owned vessels, and I'd stand on my head to make you a deal. What sort of craft are you looking for? Big, fast, slow. You want it, I got it. And if I don't got it, I'll get it. I want to make you a deal that you're happy with. Because if you're not happy, I'm not happy. But I know you're going to leave here happy today. How do I know? Just look at all these ships. I've got something for everyone. Come, take a look around. So tell me, what are you interested in looking at today? That spiffy blue one by your office looks nice. Of course it does. It's mine. And it's not for sale. What else can I show you? Let me see the best ship you've got. Hey, it's nice to meet a man who appreciates quality. I've got just the boat for you. Walk this way. Now this, this is a ship fit for a king. I mean, we're talking 15 staterooms, a fireplace in every one. We're talking two pools, one indoor, one outdoor. We're talking rotating ballroom. We're talking heated crow's nest. We're talking 200 feet of ocean-going decadence. And all for one low price. Speaking of price, just how much were you looking to spend today? Money is no object. Well, it is with me. How much you got? Actually, I was hoping to get one on credit. Sorry, kid. Neither a borrower nor a lender be. That's just old Stan's philosophy. If you've got a job, the storekeeper in town might extend you some credit. Then we'd have something to talk about. Unless, of course, you've already got some other means of financing. Oh, no more than 174 pieces of eight. I think we must be talking about completely different ships here. You've obviously been out of the ship market for quite some time. I doubt you're carrying enough cash on you for this transaction. You wouldn't happen to have any other means of finance, would you? All I have is this rubber chicken. Is it one of those rubber chickens with a pulley in the middle? I already got one of those. You wouldn't happen to have any other means of finance, would you? On second thought, this may not be the ship for me. Well, heck, I can understand that. Nothing wrong with being indecisive, even if it is a waste of my time. So, what else can I show you? Something not too expensive, but built to last. Affordable quality. Hey, that's my motto. I've got just the boat for you. Walk this way. Now I can see you're a no-frills kind of guy, but I can also tell that quality means a lot to you. I mean, just look at the way you dress. Rugged, like this baby. She comes from a land far to the north, where the sea is as unforgiving as the men are tough, and hey, you wouldn't happen to be from there, would you? You just seem to have a sort of Nordic quality about you. Anyway, we're talking about a real value here. What kind of price range were you thinking of? On second thought, this may not be the ship for me. Okay, but I got five other guys coming back to look at this baby today. Don't count on it being here if you change your mind. So, what else can I show you? I don't really have that much to spend. Have no fear. Every ship I sell is a bargain, but if you're looking for a real steal, I've got just the boat for you. Walk this way. This here is the famous Sea Monkey, the only ship ever to make it to Monkey Island and come back with anyone aboard left alive. 
Or should I say, anything? You see, the previous owners of this ship were two adventurous pirates. They set off, like many before, to find the legendary secret of Monkey Island. And like many before, they disappeared forever. Their fate? A mystery. Almost as mysterious as how this ship returned to Melee Island without a single human aboard. Some claim it was sailed back by a crew of chimps. Chimps? There aren't any chimps in the Caribbean. Oh, shut up. It makes a good story. Anyway, this baby's mine now. That is, until someone makes me an offer. Let's talk about money. Your money. On uh, second thought, this may not be the ship for me. Of course it isn't. You're looking for a much bigger boat. I can tell. So, what else can I show you? Actually, I'd like to go think about it some more. Sure, sure, think it over. I don't want you to feel pressured or anything. Bye now. I forgot to give you my card. And here's something else to remember me by. A compass? An extra strong magnetic compass. With your picture on it. That's right. It always points directly back here. So if you're looking for a good deal, you know where to go. I'll be right here when you come back. But I can't guarantee that any of these ships will. Right. They're moving fast today. Yes, sirree. Can't hardly keep anything in stock. He'll be back. Ahoy there, fancy pants. What do you want? I'm interested in procuring a note of credit. You are? I, uh, you got a job? Yes, of course I do. All right. I'll get one of my notes and we'll fill it out. Let's see here. What did you say your occupation was? I clean ships over at Stan's used shipyard. I haven't seen a clean ship over there in years. You're either lying or you're just a crummy worker. Either way, I don't trust you. What else do you want? I'm looking for the Swordmaster of Melee Island. Look, I told you she doesn't want to see you. Maybe if you asked her again? Hmm. I guess I could hike all the way over there again. Be right back. And don't touch anything!
thing? There's nothing in here but this note. to see you again. I knew you'd come back. Everybody does. You know why they come back? Just look at all these ships. I've got something for everyone. Come, take a look around. So, what else can I show you? Uh, could I see the cheap one again? I knew it, I knew it. Just can't get her out of your mind, can you? Walk this way. Hard to stay away from a good mystery, isn't it, hmm? What kind of price range were you thinking of? I got credit from the storekeeper. Will you take it? Hey, of course. Your credit's always good at stands. It doesn't matter if you've had credit problems in the past. Divorce, chronic gambling mishaps. I mean, who am I to judge, right? If the storekeeper trusts you enough to give you a letter of credit, then you must be an honest man with a steady income, right? Uh, right. Let's get down to brass tack, shall we? I know you want it. You know you want it. And I know that you know that I want to sell it, so... Let's talk extras. Extras? You want to talk extras? Great! This baby's loaded with extras. For instance, did I tell you about the porthole defoggers? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Okay, but don't blame me if you run into an iceberg or something. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the anti-lock anchor? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Sure, throw safety to the wind. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the rack and pinion rudder? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Well, I guess it'll float without it. Barely. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the velour sail covers? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Hey, travel light. I can understand that, sure. Of course, mutiny is an ugly word. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the tachometer? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Wow, does your wife know you're such a cheapskate? But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the elevator made with wood from burgundy wine casks? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Yeah, I guess that is kind of decadent, isn't it? But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about this simulated wood siding? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Okay, but I'm telling you, barnacles hate simulated wood. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the porthole defoggers? Enough about extras already. 
Okay, where were we? Well, what do you think it's worth? You could sell this puppy away today for just 7,300 pieces of eight. How does that sound to you? Forget it. I don't need this boat anyway. Now, wait a second. Don't go away mad. I'm sure we can work something out. Well, maybe you're right. Of course I am. Now, where were we? Oh, yeah. I'm going to be getting a whole new shipment next week, so you got me over a barrel. I've got to sell this baby, even if it means losing my shirt. I'd like to make you an offer. Great. How much? All right, 5,000, but that's my final offer. 5,000 pieces of eight? Okay, okay. It's killing me, but okay. And I thought I was gonna give my children Christmas presents this year. Just take it out of here. I'm glad to get rid of it. Oh yeah, do you have that note from the storekeeper on you? Thanks. I've got to run these numbers by my boss. He'll think I'm nuts, but I'll talk him into it. You meet me at the dock with your crew. I'll bring the ship and the papers. I just want to say that I really feel like we got to know each other today. I mean, I really felt some bonding here. And I don't just say that to everybody. It's been great doing business with you. Really? Sucker. See you at the dock and don't forget your crew. All three of them. <laughs> <laughs>